this is a tour of the arcade at Great Escape in Des Moines, Iowa. Bolero recently took this arcade over, so let's check it out. This is right when you walk over to the arcade. They have some bowling lanes over here. Then there's the arcade. I'm pretty sure it must be super expensive now that Bolero took it over. So credits are typically two per dollar if you spend hundred dollars or three per dollars. But sometimes you can find some good Groupons. It's like this is one credit, but then this Keymaster Mini is four bucks a play, so they did make the prices really expensive. Time for tickets. $2. Oh, I love this game. And looks, I think someone left a play on it. So guys, here, I'm gonna play this real quick. Yeah, it's three bucks a play, but someone left a play on it. So let's see if I can get a free prize. We just walked in. So let's see if I can get a free prize on Flocking Bird. I think someone lost $3 right here and I got to play it for free. Oh, uh, I lost it nine. That's a, actually a tough version. <laughs> And this is a fantastic prize. This is the newer version of Armor Cut. And they have a boxing game. And then I do remember this. They have a lot of stairs and ramps through this arcade. I remember that vividly. Here's a Rabbids VR. Tower of Tickets now um, three credits, which is about $1.50 or a dollar. <laughs> Typhoon. Duo Drive. See, I remember this arcade's like a lot of small different levels. Over here they have two of these ice prize box machines, or LAI games actually. One of the spiky balls, one of the Super Mario. Four player Pac-Man. A few more kiosks. And then this is a Willy Crash. Beanbag toss, 55,000, and it is four credits, two bucks. Three dollars for down the cloud. A let's bounce right here. And two Monopoly rolling goes. And they have a prize store, which is pretty rare for Bolero stores. Two prize time deluxe. A basketball it must get 40 seconds with the high score to beat. This is my favorite version of Piano Keys. This is the single version of Piano Keys. It's super hard to find. And it's only two credits, which is weird. Avengers coin pusher and the Willy Wonka coin pusher right here. 14 credits, seven bucks a play. Seven dollars a play, King Kong Skull Island. Ticket ring right here. So it's all it's two dollars in all hundreds and one fifties. They put the bigger amounts on the bottom. Candy crane. Then for two dollars and fifty cents, a monster drop extreme. Then over here, a quick drop. Hopefully it works. Six ninety five jackpot. Five credits. Two dollars fifty cents. And the other monster drop on this side looks the same. The giant claw broken. Pixel chase right here. A whack and win. Super bikes three. And look, another level, believe it or not. <laughs> Over here they have Halo. And Jurassic Park Arcade. Then a Connect Four Hoops over here. Seven credits a person, $3.50 each. <laughs> Power Roll. Dodgeball, this is actually pretty rare. I'm surprised this Bolero has Dodgeball. I've only seen this at Dave & Buster's. $3.50, but a Dodgeball at a Bolero is pretty rare, I think. Two ski balls, two big bass wheels, and some NBA game time, Iowa State and the Hawkeyes. And then over here is Centipede Chaos, a Nerf arcade. You only have to beat 131,000 to win. Five, oh my god, a thousand Space Invaders. That is really good. So this is the complete arcade tour of Greatest Game. Now I'm going to show the prize room. first place. Yes it is, by a lot. Next we're gonna do some quick drop. The jackpot is 695. Hopefully it's not broken like that was. This is five credits, $2.50. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys that this Space Invader used to be super easy before it was Bolero and I was able to AP on this pretty well, but now the controller's a little messed up and you have to get 45k, so they made it a little more difficult. 
Next game is going to be Nerf Arcade. This is surprisingly only three credits at Valero, and most games here are around four or five. Okay, I just got led into the prize room. They had to go through a game of laser tag, which I think took about 15, 20 minutes maybe, but now I can show you guys. This place used to have really cheap prizes before they turned it into a Bolero. So these are Iowa and Iowa State gross, but there's some paintings. They're 44,000. They might be worth some money. 18,000. Is this like some special kind of football maybe? Like, I wish they wouldn't put that sticker over it. Authentic game ball. That might be pretty rare. That's kind of cool. But over here they have some different like Hello Kitty and Ninja Plus. So there's some Bulbas back there. And then I've seen these piggy rings for It's a cup of noodles Yahtzee. Oh, that's super cool. There's no price on it, but that is pretty cool. Um, some clippables. And up there's a poker game set, a Hello Kitty plush, a dance kit, and a hot sauce kit. Then right in this kit over here, they have some Bolero merch. And they also, for some reason, still have a great escape koozie. I don't know if they're supposed to have that since it's all kind of Bolero now, but... They still have that merch. And they do have some different colors of the Bolero bowling pins. I think I only have the orange and the green at home, so I might have to get some of this merch in the middle. Then they have, ooh, look, it's a Captain Crunch and a Trix pop figures. Those are pretty cool. Some blind boxes, Jenga backpacks, Pac-Man pencil topper. Here's from arcade games. Dance Dance Revolution, Atari, Pac-Man, headphones, a strip light. Keyboard. Yeah, their prizes did get more expensive. Cause I remember before this was Bolero, I got like for four thousand this huge foosball table worth like a hundred bucks. I still have that, and that's pretty cool. But a drum set for twenty six thousand. These are some pretty rare prizes. Ooh, it's a pizza light. That's pretty cool. I like. I do like the LED strips they put inside of these cases. Newton's cradle, a Bluetooth speaker, some puzzles up there, a magic eight ball. Um, and these are some of your bowling type games, like they have a pinball arcade up there and a nerf gun. But over here they have like an air hockey, a bowling game, crazy shot basketball game. I bet this basketball pro works better than the one in the actual arcade. They also have um, a couple Monopoly games. They have, also have a Spongebob one up there, that's pretty cool. Oh, NFLopoly Jr. A Star Wars, The Game of Life, Candyland. Over here they have a couple other kinds of nerf guns. Ooh. That's an espresso maker up there for 40000 Wow. <laughs> um, so yeah, Boleros. That's one thing I don't like about Bolero Corporation. Each individual location can, kind of has their own prizes and gets to choose how much they are. Like some have prize hubs, some have rooms, some have counters, and they all get to choose their prizes. Like you can come across a Bolero that's super cheap prizes. You can come across one that's really expensive prizes or one that doesn't have any prizes at all. And over here they have some different balls. These are, um, it's that show like Blaze and the something. I don't know. It's the car show. And they have some of those little basketballs. Then, oh, this is, I think, these are, oh, these are from that um, machine they have. Remember, they have like those machines and it's like $3 and it dispenses a capsule. I think they took all the capsules out of this machine they used to have and put them for sale. These are identical to those ones. A Nerf water gun. <laughs> oh yeah, that's an electric guitar for 21000 and they have some Iowa merch, a blaster, some tattoos, and stuff like that, a backpack. Then over here is your candy. They do have Chupa Chups. Those are some of my favorite suckers. Cotton candy. And there's a lot of small stuff. They have some koozies down there for Iowa and Iowa State. So, and did I miss anything up top? There's a skateboard, an aqua thing. And I think I got the doormat. And there's just some like whiffle bat things. So this was the prize room tour of Great Escape Bolero in 
Des Moines, Iowa. I thought I would like to mention this in the video. This location is ran badly. These Yahtzees, they're not in their system, so they can't sell them. Like, there needs to be some type of management at this location. They couldn't open this door for 20 minutes. Now they can't sell some things in it. That's crazy. Thank you for watching.